Hello? Hello. Hi, is this, uh, is this John Melton trading? That's me. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm just a uh, long-time viewer, and I was just uh, figured I'd finally uh, just call you up and ask you some questions. Okay. Uh, well, uh, hold on a second. <coughs> Let me turn my light on. Uh, who are you? Uh, uh, my name is John. Just, yep. uh, I've been uh, watching your videos for a while. Oh, great. It's good to hear from somebody. It's been a while, uh, back in the 80s, uh, as far as um, actually putting them on, on paper, but yeah, the ideas have always been there. Wow, that's great. Uh, any particular uh, ones you like? Do you remember yep. the first parable you ever wrote? Oh. Man, yeah, once again, as far as the writing, probably the one video uh, back with the uh, you know, whole bunch of video, like uh, VHS tapes, folks have made their own videos, and uh, like a domino effect, they press the first one, and they're making a video, and it kind of goes out uh, in all directions, the power of the domino effect kind of thing. Have you seen the one video? They, the, the folks in the video say that we're going to uh, get folks uh, making their own uh, videos, uh, showing them to each other, and uh, the videos we make will reach across the world that way. Oh, that was yeah, it was just long before the uh, yeah digital cameras and. Uh, on a megabyte instead of a tape. Very interesting. I have a, another question, actually, if you don't mind. Is there a favorite of your parables that you've written? What's like your absolute favorite? Uh, I'm you know, not sure. One. Oh, I guess that because that, that came to mind. There are so many of them. Uh, Domino effect is uh, uh, just anything like that that where uh, average folks pick up their phones nowadays and make videos and uh, they're able to reach the world. People uh, being the news, for example, because things aren't covered on the news. I've been asking uh, for 9-11 Flight 93 checks, that's folks calling me, and I have yet to uh, get one person calling me up and saying this is a 93 check. I tell them to make videos of their calls to me. They got the uh, timestamp on the phone, they got the number dialed, and you don't show up on my uh, caller ID, my call log, I'll be interested to see if you do. It says private number. Yeah, I had my number private for a while. Just, uh, I guess it can oh, I don't blame you. But I don't have that problem. I, I, I tell folks to make the video. You dial in 424 229 4140. Whatever boring thing you get is not going to be boring if you need uh, yeah, emergency services uh -huh. or something. So you make that video, and those who have been uh -huh. hijacking their calls to me, they're worried enough about to alter phone records. I make videos of McCollog for this thing. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I will make that video. I've been, I've been thinking about it for a while, actually. I still can't believe you haven't gotten one yet in over nine times. That's crazy, but you know. Okay, I'll. I'll it's it's going to be a bit of a busy week for me, but uh, in the next few days, I will be. I'll make that video. Yeah, make that video. If you reach me, great. I'll, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah, you, I've got the first. I'll probably mention you tomorrow in my, my sugar check bear. Okay, 
Uh, call me up if you guys. Are, uh, I'm getting ready to go to bed. I'm, I haven't been feeling well the past month. But uh, you got a comment? Call me up. Tell me what you think. Uh, make that video. If you reach me, great. I'll say thanks. Uh, you got the first 93 check. Absolutely. I will definitely be in touch. And if you don't mind, before I let you go, uh, my good buddy Sam here would uh, definitely like to ask you a question too. He's a fan too. Okay. All right. Sure. Hey, is it John? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Fan as well. Great. Uh, 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 tuning in for a long while. I just want to ask, um, what is Barack Obama's middle name? Uh, who's saying? Everybody knows that. What do you think of that? Uh, yeah, I, like that I, I, I googled the guy back when I was living in what I, I say is Hussein's Angel Arabia, run by that uh, uh, Saudi Arabian folk guy, a uh, Muslim cleric or whatever, uh, had to live there for three years because I couldn't find a better place to live. Good folks couldn't reach me by phone to send, but I couldn't reach them to get a better place to live. And I googled and I got uh, that he grew up in Africa and that his name is Hussein. And they, the professor with the Google said they don't call him Hussein unless they're Muslim. And I always thought that's odd, the reaching out to the Muslims first thing in the office. Of course. And uh, then pulling back from being Muslim at all with that name. And I, yeah. As I say in my videos, I don't know if you've seen this, um, uh, we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Hussein. Then we got attacked by the inside of the cowardly Hussein. Politically correct. I, with I all the choices they had. They chose to put someone with that name in our white ass. I didn't think that was right. I think it's I think it's a fucking disgrace if you ask me. Pardon my French. Yes, sir. I agree. I mean, you know, I'm I'm pretty well versed in Islamic scripture. I, you know, I, I was visiting um, the greater half of North Africa for a few years, and I I heard a tale once about a or that traveled in a, in a pack and he's um, he's got a he's got a spot on him it's a bit like a cow lick but it's you know he's a boar and it's, it's colored and he runs away and destroys this entire town and in, a, in an effort to you know please the, the pack of boars when he returned they were nowhere to be seen they had all become fear, and he was now the outsider. I think that has a lot to do with um, the presidency of uh, 2008, um, in both terms, actually. Uh, yes, sir. Was there any, uh, is there anything else you'd like to tell me about yourself? Oh, uh, no. I'm, uh, as I say in my imagery, I'm just calmly and patiently waiting in an immaculate apartment here. For someone to uh, be in this imagery, uh, you you seen my videos? Have you seen my graphic card? Oh, of course. Uh, Twenty-five thousand yeah. plus with just me and LA and sunsets, clouds, birds. I'm an artist myself, so you know I, I appreciate it a lot from an abstract standpoint. Yeah. You uh, can I ask uh, what you do today? Oh, I designed a, a Mormon beware image. I seem to have a lot of folks uh, around, uh, I call, uh, if you've seen my videos, LDS, Latter-day Sinners. And I designed the image. Uh, Mormons beware. Uh, we, uh, America's phones, uh, I forget the text at the top. Uh, America's phones are recording your uh, crimes, case in neighborhoods, while good folks are at work, preying on the elderly as well. Make that video. Oh, the Mormons, uh, they show up on my caller ID from uh, yeah, back in Hussein's Little Arabia time. 
And uh, I tell them when they when you knock on the door, uh, try to call me in front of them. Make a video, whatever you get when you don't get me, get their reaction. And yeah, I've designed the image. It says, uh, never mind the dogs, beware of the owners. America has uh, phones, uh, cameras with our phones nowadays, and we're recording that character here. Yeah. Left and right. Uh, no. in, in, in one sentence, what do you want to accomplish more than anything else? Oh, I, uh, I say often my folks being unable to reach me by phone is, you know, my gate's livelihood. Uh, I'm not uh, designing graphic art. Um, I, I'm not doing that part, but I'm also not uh, building Jesus' immaculate house. Places to inspire the future and the present to greatness. Well, thanks. Uh, Sam, right? Yeah, Sam. Yeah, it's a little late. I'm probably going to go to bed, but uh, be sure to call me uh, another day. What uh, something lifestyle? I'm not sure. Well, that was one of the questions for maybe the uh, radio host. It's really a question to offer anyone. Then. Yeah. Uh, are you these uh, that guy um, from uh, New York? No, the Wu Tang Clan. You know, Rizzo, which is a whole dirty bastard. Uh, you know, he's got the chef. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not up on uh, as much pop culture as I'd like. I. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, once again, it's getting late. I got to get some sleep. I appreciate you calling. Call again another day. And uh, have a good night. You too, Buster. Okay. In a wrap, thank you. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll have to mention that in my uh, uh, one of my my videos tomorrow, my parables. I'm Milton, self carpenter, married dad carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, my Marianne. I'm self carpenter. I get to tell parables. I guess that's one of my favorite parables. A nice short, quick one. Make that video. If you had that call to me. Uh, these folks uh, very friendly. I guess I'm not sure about some of the stuff they talked about. I don't know, but. Uh, Uh, yeah, uh, try to calm yourself, make that video. Doesn't matter who can reach me if your phone's not allowed to work. Because of political, religious, business censorship, and you don't know when else it won't be allowed to work. I guarantee you, me not getting a 9-11 Flight 93 check in a decade of asking, and uh, they didn't, uh, I have to mention, but they, I brought it up. Uh... Me not getting one in a, a decade, it's going to be just as newsworthy if your phone's not allowed to work, allowed to work when you need, really need it, guys. So make a video right now. You got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dialed. Whatever boring thing you get when you don't get Milton, it's not going to be boring. You need the firemen, police, paramedics. So make that video. Post that video. Come see me in person. Have wheel we'll travel some of the perfect place to build. Jesus is Immaculate House. You have the thousand points of light to inspire the future and the present to greatness. Once you tear down the great wall of evil, has just me in my imagery on the phone here. And uh, yeah, just me and those 25,000 at uh, vote-truth.blogspot.com. Don't forget the www up front. You can find that new image about Mormons beware there too.